Now we discuss about the PLN phase lock loop. Based on the phase difference, it gives the voltage which is passed through the low pass filter and then it is amplified and given to the voltage controlled oscillator so that F0 will be adjusted to the FM. PLN goes through the three states free running, capture and phase lock. Lock range is the range of frequencies over which the PL maintain lock with the incoming signal. Capture range means it is the range of frequencies over which the PL can acquire the lock with the input signal. And pulling time is the time taken by the PLL to establish lock we call it as a pulling time you will get the zero I followed by a higher frequency higher frequency higher frequency towards infantry are moving at F7 before the F7 output will not be equal to input at exactly F7 output becomes equal to F in and now output has captured now it will follow the input and when you increase the input it will increase back continuously up to a certain frequency a frequency at which output doesn't follow the input is a fl2 so when you move from zero to maximum you can find two frequencies that is the fc1 and fl2 fc1 where the output becomes equal to input fl1 is where the output doesn't become equal to input where output stops following the input that is fl2 next if i move from higher frequency towards zero frequency then initially i'll uh, see that output is not equal to input when i start decreasing at particular frequency output becomes equal to input at fc2 we call that as fc2 output becomes equal to input again when you start decreasing the input frequency you will find output follows the input this will continue up to fl1 after fl1 if you reduce output will not follow the input suddenly you will find output will go back to if not so now when you are moving from maximum to zero frequency you will get two frequencies fc2 fl1 when you are moving from zero to maximum you got fc1 and fl2 now you got all the four frequencies fc1 fc2 fl1 and fl2 so fc1 to fc2 is called as capture range fl1 to fl2 this range is called as lock range now let us consider one example you can practice just imagine the input frequency is fa what might be the output frequency it will be f naught now consider i have changed to the b what about the output frequency output will be f naught only reason is it has not yet captured now input become fc output will become fc because it is coming in between fc1 and fc2 now let us consider it is fd no doubt output will become equal to fd it is fe output will follow the input because it is already captured ff output will become f0 because it is beyond the lock range remember one line always if the frequency is in between fc1 and fc2 it will capture once if it is captured, you can move up to FL1 and FL2. Let us start with a, another example. Input is FF. What is the output? Output will be F0. Input is FE. What is the output? Output will be F0. Because it is not in between FC1 and FC2. Now input is FD. What about the output? Output is FD. Input is FC. What about the output? Output is FC. 
input is fb output is fb up to log range it will maintain if i go fa which is beyond the log range output goes back to the f naught or equal as a sent frequency let us start another example now if you are given a input is fc what about the output try output will be equal to fc because it is within the captured range once it is captured now you can drag up to fl1 or fl2 fd output will be fd fe output will be fe ff output will be f not because it is above the fl2 now suddenly if i move to the fb if i switch it off suddenly i switch it on with a b frequency output will be f not because it is outside the capture range now if i make a output will be f not only so this is a way how you should check whether the output is equal to input or not now input is fc output is fc input is fd output is fd input is fe output is fe once captured in between fl1 and fl2 you can drag wherever you want now let us take a ff yeah output will be ff fb no it's outside the lock range now it will go back to f not f a no it is once you have gone out of the lock range until unless you come within the capture range output will not be equal to input this is the end of the topic thank you